हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अदर वीडियो सो वेलकम बैक एंड सो रिसेंटली जस्ट टुडे आई वाज ट्राइंग टू डाउनलोड रिप्ले मॉड व्हिच इज अ मॉड फ्रॉम माइनक्राफ्ट एंड इट टुक सो लॉन्ग टू डाउनलोड एंड आई इट जस्ट वाज वेरी अनोइंग बिकॉज़ इट टुक सो लॉन्ग सो आई फाउंड दिस वन ट्यूटोरियल बाय मैजिक मोंटेज एंड इट्स वेरी गुड बट इट्स सुपर आउटडेटेड 2019 आई लीव इट्स चैनल लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ बिलो बट बेसिकली व्हाट इफ यू गाइस डोंट नो रिप्ले मॉड इज इट लेट्स यू टेक सिनेमैटिक्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग यू नीड of everything you do in minecraft as long as you're recording it and also this video only gives you how to download replay mod but i'm going to be showing you guys how to download replay mod with optifine on fabric since replay mod is only for fabric no forge so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it step by step every single thing so the first thing you guys will need are fabric api fabric itself the replay mod ffmpeg and also you guys will need optifine and opti fabric so i'm going to sh show you guys how to get all this stuff so first of all head to the first link in the description which should be to get to the fabric api mod folder so you guys want to just get this and head over to files there we go and just download so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do 1.16.5 but if a newer version of replay mod comes out then you guys can use that because right now it's only up to 1.16.5 so you're going to download uh, Fabric API on one sixteen point five newest version right here, so you're gonna download that, and that's gonna get you to this page right here. You download begin and just let that happen, and this is probably gonna be take really quickly because it's a really small download, and then you just wanna hit keep. There we go. That's downloaded. So next up we want to download Fabric itself. So you wanna head over to the second link, which is gonna be for fabricmc.net, and here you wanna click download installer. This will work for anything, so Linux, Mac, Windows, I think. But right now we're just focusing on Windows. So, sorry, Mac, I mean. So just click download installer, and that will download too, and just hit keep. So you have the two fabric things, so you can just minimize those, and I'll minimize this too. Okay, so this is the important thing. You guys, for now you guys want to choose which version you're getting. Since I'm getting 1.16.5, you guys want to get that too. If, if unless you want a different version, then you're gonna choose whatever version you want. But you see how you hear how it says requires fabric, right? Then this is really important because you guys probably are used to running your mods on Forge, but fabric is basically another mod loader, but it doesn't let you use usual mods with Forge. There's specific mods made for fabric and specific mods made for Forge. So if you guys have a Forge. a uh, lot of mods in forge and i'm sorry but it won't work with this older version i think do it with forge yeah, like up to 1.12.2 it works but then after that they just stop doing forge and switch to fabric so that's not a that's the worst part about this but i mean we really can't do anything about that so you guys just want to hit download on 1.16.5 or whatever version you want hit download it will just download and This is going to start downloading. This is again a pretty small file. It should take at least just 10 seconds for you guys to download this. So just let it download and then just hit keep. So now we have everything for replay mod. Almost everything we just need ffmpeg, but that's for a bit because that's probably the hardest part of this. So now that you guys have the main stuff, now we need to actually install optifine. Now for this you guys don't need just optifine. So you guys want to go to optifine.net And once you guys are here, just head over to downloads, and one point sixteen point five. Just hit download. So it's gonna download. Please wait. This is gonna be an ad file link. So just ignore everything here. Just wait for this, and then once it's here, just click, click skip. Once you've clicked it, just hit, click download over here, and boom, that's gonna start downloading. And then you can just exit out of this. So the next thing we need, since we're doing on fabric, right? Uh, optifine isn't made for fabric it's made for forge so we to make it compatible with fabric what you need to do is search up opti fabric mod mine actually you just need to search this opti fabric mod and the first link should be this this all these links will also be in the description so you guys can just click from those if you guys really want to it's a it's a lot easier then just click this now and once you've clicked it just head over again to files now this is important okay on okay i don't know why this is like this but i've tested this a bunch and this is really weird okay so this is you need to be very careful of what version you get so for example if i go into description i don't think they've said anything about it here but yeah they haven't said anything about it here but what i did okay is first of all 
I spent an hour trying to load this version right here. Optifabric version 1.11.9. This for some reason was not working. I have no idea why, but it was not working. So what I would suggest you guys do is download this version right here. Optifabric version 1.9.2 because this is the only version that worked for me and I am on the Mac M1. So that might depend on your Mac. Just try this first and if it doesn't work, then try the newest version 1.11.9. So you guys just want to click download on 1.9.2 this this version and then just hit download again it's gonna do the your download will begin in five seconds to let that download once it's downloaded just hit keep and you guys have all the stuff you need for the mods so just ignore all this so you guys need optifine you guys need Optifabric 1.9.2 you guys need replay mod it's gonna be one point it says 1.16.4 but it's compatible with 1.16.5 so these are the three mod you need so it's gonna I'm gonna put this in a folder real quick new mods with Optifine this, this is our stuff now this is the second part so in here we have our Optifabric Optifine and replay mod but you guys also need to put in the fabric api mod right here and just put it inside of this same folder which we'll transfer to minecraft later on so next to in actually install fabric what you guys need to do is run this fabric installer which you guys downloaded and just double click on it and it's gonna open up in java like here so just let that open up It might take a few seconds because it's obviously running a new entire thing okay so once it's here you guys want to click on client it should already be there but it, just in case if it's on server switch over to client and then head over to minecraft version and then just click 1.16.5 and then just hit install nothing else you guys want to do yes it's going to be done and boom there we go you can just exit out of that and if you guys want you can just delete it too boom so now that we have this all of our mods and fabric api and we also have fabric installed if you guys go over to minecraft then in minecraft you guys will see a new installer in your versions right so if we let load up the minecraft launcher it's gonna load up everything and right here where it says your versions you're just gonna click on this fabric loader 1.16.5 there we go and this is gonna be loaded so if we play this right now it won't do anything because we haven't actually put them in the mods folder yet but before we do that we need to first put them in so we need to head over to here and open your folder where you're keeping all of your mods then click on the right click on finder and just do a new finder window there we go okay now this is really important so this is gonna be a thing which you guys can copy in the description and and so this will let you guys get to the mods folder of minecraft so you guys want to hit go hold the option key on your mac and then click on library once you guys are here you guys are going to click on application support and then you guys are going to find minecraft here let's so look for minecraft this is basically all of your apps that you have downloaded on your mac so i'm going to look for minecraft so it should be around here somewhere let's see so we have epic or for whatever apps you guys will have but there'll be Minecraft right here. There we go. Minecraft folder right here. So you guys are gonna double click on that and open it. There's gonna be a lot of different stuff in here, but just ignore everything and look for a mods folder. You guys wanna double click on that. Once you guys have opened that, you guys just wanna put in all of the stuff that you guys have into it. So you guys wanna get it in and then just put it in. There we go. So you guys have successfully put it all of your mods in. But if you try to launch it, it still won't be able to render the videos. Basically, what that means is that you'll record the videos, but you won't be able to actually see the videos. So obviously, there's no point then. So what you guys need to do is search up brew.sh on Google. Again, this link will be in the description. And just hit enter. And there will be this um, line of code right here, right? So you guys just want to click on this clipboard icon. And this will automatically copy it for you. And basically, what this does is install this program for coders called homebrew and this basically basically this lets people code and do a lot of other stuff i don't really to know know too much about it for this right so 
we have to install this onto our Mac, this specific software. But this isn't like usual software. You have to go into your spotlight and search up terminal. There we go. And then just hit enter. So this thing will open up. I'm actually gonna reopen it so that you guys can get a clear look of what you're gonna say for you guys. So it's gonna say your name and stuff. I'm gonna blur all that, of course. But now what you guys wanna do is you guys wanna just paste in this that same line of code which will also be in the description if you guys don't want to go to the website it's going to be a lot easier if i just take it from the description straight up so you guys want to paste it and then hit enter so now it's going to run a bunch of commands right and it's going to ask you for a password so type in your password and remember it won't show you that you're actually typing your password but as soon as you hit enter it's going to run okay and again it says press return or to continue or any other key to abort so if you want to stop it then just hit anything and then if you want to run it which we do then just hit enter again so it will just keep downloading stuff and it's just gonna run homebrew and this usually takes like 10 minutes sometimes it can take less time so I'll see you guys when it's done okay so once this is done you guys will know it's done when the name pops up your laptop's name so now what you guys want to do is you want to type brew this will also be in the description again you guys can copy paste it it's going to be brew install ffmpeg so that's ffmpeg and just hit enter and just hit enter oh sorry i completely forgot about this so if you guys see here right it says i completely forgot about this so it says here next steps run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path so this is one thing that i again did wrong and I completely forgot again. So what you guys need to do to do this right. Is you guys want to copy this command. Which it gives you. Just copy it. And paste it. And run this command. And then the second command. Which starts with evil. You guys want to copy that too. And run that in your terminal again. Boom. Alright so. Once you've pasted those two commands into your terminal. Now you guys can actually start using the software. So this software doesn't actually have an interface. Like for example if I just close it for a second. And I go into for example steam right you guys can see that you know there's some actual stuff inside of it like actual windows and everything but this specific app does not have any windows in it like look this this is this right and it loads up and everything this software is only in terminal so you again open terminal again and now type in this specific command which is brew install ffmpeg now what this will do is it will run the, those new commands automatically and it will start installing this software called FFmpeg. Again, you guys want to sit next to your laptop. This is going to take a bit because this is a bigger software. But you guys just want to sit here because sometimes you got your password and stuff like that. So just make sure you stay here and just wait for it to download. It probably takes like 10 minutes so I'll see you guys when it's done. And if there's any like installers or passwords then I'll show you guys that. Alright, so now as you guys can see it says my name right here obviously it's bad but you guys can see that but once it says your name then it's completely installed and you can close terminal so now you guys have everything you need to run replay mod with optifine with all of your shaders so now you guys want to just make sure you do it one more check all right so once it's done installing you guys just want to hit go again and go to go, go to folder oh, yeah, i didn't show you guys this method before but the the, the thing i was telling you guys wow there's going to be another thing in the description just copy that you guys can copy that and it's going to bring you straight to the micro folder instead of you having to go to library and everything like that just hit go and once you're here you guys can again open your mod folder make sure you have fabric api optifabric optifine and replay mod so you guys can for close that you can minimize all this oops i'm gonna hide that there we go and then just hit run on minecraft so now once you guys have opened the minecraft launcher right so once it's open you guys want to hit this button right here and again select fabric loader 1.60.5 0.11.6 or whatever version you guys downloaded and just hit play and this and hit play all right so as you guys can see minecraft is launched now and you guys can see three differences one thing it's a replay viewer right here you guys know that replay mod is worked because of this it will say optifine here which means optifine has worked and last but certainly not least it will say fabric here which means fabric has worked so now you guys can just go into your minecraft world hope you guys found this really helpful 
and if i missed anything comment down below if you guys have any issues and also remember the links in the description follow my instagram like subscribe for more tutorials and give me suggestions in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye